Setting up a gateway. The gateways are used if you wish to remote into your system to set the schedule, pick a color, turn them on, turn them off, when you're not in the immediate presence of one of the controllers. Uh, the gateway itself is this little white box on the top, back, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have your Cat5 port, your USB power port, your reset button, and then the far right button is where you'll do the five timed on off presses just like you would to reset the main controller should it decide that it doesn't want to behave. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to plug in the Cat5 cable to the top. I've got the USB cable plugged into power. So we're going to slide that in. Now your first instinct is to look for it to do something and it doesn't. Uh, there is a tiny little blue light that shows up in the corner when it's completely booted and has an address. Typically, I usually tell people just to hang tight, uh, go get a cup of coffee, uh, perhaps a lovely donut, I, I don't know. But anyway, take some time, don't rush this process. It is possible to start setting it up before it is completely booted and that will not work so pretty well. So just give it a few minutes, I don't know, it's like three minutes or so. Um, but you'll see that little blue light come on. Oh, there it is. So you see that tiny little blue light? It's a bugger to see in the sunlight, so sometimes, you know, if you cup your hand around it, you can get to see a little bit better. But that lets us know that this guy is ready to do the install. So we're gonna go back to our device on the right hand side there, uh, three line hamburger menu. Add devices, add gateway. It's telling us to turn on the Bluetooth in your phone, keep it near the gateway. Please make sure the Ethernet cable is connected and it's all ready, which we've already done. So we're going to next, it's going to search for the gateway. It's telling us that the gateway was found. That's good. Next. We're gonna give the gateway a name. I don't know why, I usually just call it gateway. Done. And add. It's gonna start the pairing and configuration process. It's telling us it was successfully added. Now it's gonna check it down to make sure everything's working. We do have the ethernet cable plugged into it. Um, Wi-Fi is not currently supported, but I believe it is something that they're working on. But we're going to go with the tried and true Ethernet cable. It's going to check the internet connection. Establish the local connection. And if all goes well, it'll come back with the three check marks for gateway added, internet, and local connection. This is good. We're going to hit done. It's going to do a little configuration fetching and syncing with its server. And it's going to come back to the main screen here. Uh, if you click on the gateway itself, it'll tell you some useful information about it. It'll tell you also if you're connected via the cloud or the local network. So you just saw that it switched because my tablet here is on the same network as the gateway and it knows that. So it switches to that little house and it pops it online. That's all you have to do for the gateway. It will just pretend that that's basically not there. So whatever scheduling, color changes, and everything else you do will go through the gateway to the devices. I usually tell people that, you know, expect a little bit of a delay because it's got to do some, uh, some long distance travel to get back to your lights. Um, and uh, I usually will now switch my phone over to the cellular network just so that I know that it's not on the same network. And you'll see like a little cloud with three little legs coming down. That's an indication that it is online with the cloud-based service. So, um, and everything else, like I said, will function as normal. Your scheduling, your calendaring, your color changes. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to the gateway. Uh, you do have to make sure that this thing is in a fairly close proximity to the uh, other controllers. So typically what I'll do to figure that out is take my phone and if I can control a device from my phone sitting right next to the gateway, I figure that's probably pretty good and it will be able to communicate. 
So um, if you got any problems with these gateways, <laughs> give us a call and we'll get on to the next video. Thanks.